Let's talk about 321, March 21st. Uh, it's also National 3D Day. Did you know that? That's right. Uh, the third day of the third week in March is 3D Day. The Power of Love was the first 3D feature film. Can you guess when it was released? 1922. That's right. I didn't know it went back that far. It was at an exhibit in Los Angeles at the Ambassador Hotel Theater. The film was shown using red and green glasses and was also shot the first 3D film to use anaglyph glasses and dual strip projection. Now, the first 3D movie I ever saw was Jaws 3D. Alan, do you remember your first 3D movie? Probably Jaws. That, that might have been mine, too. Yeah. The more I think about it, yeah. I think it was 1983. Yeah. When that, that was the third Jaws that came out. First time, and it was those old paper glasses, the old red and blue, mm -hmm. or uh, red and green or whatever. And it was crappy. Well, I remember, too, that they used to try to show, uh, did you remember they used to show like some old movies on TV in, in 3D, and they sent out the red and blue paper glasses yes. like in the newspaper. That's right. Like you get them ahead of time, and you watch the old movie that they would broadcast with the red and blue 3D. I do remember that. Wow, and you just flooded my brain with other memories because I do believe Playboy had an addition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the glasses okay. yep. in the magazine and you could pull out the sure. yeah um yeah i i don't remember that but uh, <laughs> i take your word for it john so. yeah there's nothing more uh sad <laughs> than putting on those glasses and unfolding a, a 3d centerfold and shutting the door and make it you know it's just a lot of production for that one yeah yeah so jaws 3d if i remember it was cool at the time because nothing like that yeah, had happened. Sure. I'd never seen it. Mm -hmm. um, but wow, how far we've come. Yeah. I mean, the, the best one I've seen was Avatar. Yeah, Avatar was, I don't generally like 3D, but I did go see that in 3D because it was worth it. Yeah. The glasses have gotten better. Yeah. Like, I think the first time I saw a 3D thing with the new glasses, it wasn't avatar it was something at like a universal studios where they were just sort of showing off the technology mm -hmm. and they were showing like fish and you were like underwater and a fish just went like right past my face with these glasses on i'm like wow that's pretty dang good yeah um and now and then take that even further to now we have vr goggles mm -hmm. yes yes i think we're going to do something with vr goggles on the show in the future yeah. I think that'd be fun to do. Yeah. I want to see Isaiah in a virtual world. So. I do too. I don't want to give him VR goggles to take home. Oh, no, no, no. They need to be done here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm telling you with you. No, they, they stay here. So. Uh, I don't trust that boy with VR goggles. I mean, who knows what he would get into. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. All right. So that is so na happy National 3D Day. All right. It's also National Countdown Day, like I said before. Uh, three, two, one. That's it. It's also National, no, I'm sorry, World Down Syndrome Day. Also National AG Day. Ag Day. Shout out to the Future Farmers of America, 4-H clubs, farmers. Um, you know, I have some experience in farming. I played a, a redneck farmer who was married to his sister who has a cyclops for a son who lives in the basement. And Harold and Kumar escaped Guantanamo Bay. Typical country story there. So, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, John, I'd like to celebrate National Ag Day because uh, I don't know about you, but my homeroom in high school was in the Ag Building. So, oh yeah. wow! So I kind of got some firsthand experience. I feel like just being in the Ag Building for part of my day. That's crazy because I don't think I ever spent one second in the ag building or shop i didn't take any of those classes yeah but you were that's where you had to that's start your day there was. yeah yeah so i was there at the beginning of the day every day and uh, do you remember the teacher who was in charge of that homeroom was it a it was a dude right i don't remember yeah yeah well shout out to all the farmers uh happy ag day to y'all thank you for uh, growing the food that i ate appreciate you uh it's also national french bread day also known as the baguette you know, it's a long, thin loaf. It's not, I'm not a fan. It's too hard. 
I don't like baguettes. I don't like French bread. Unless it's straight from the oven. You, you put that thing out more than three minutes, it's basically a billy club. You can beat the crap out of somebody with it. You know, that's why you see, <laughs> I don't know, look up like every third episode of Seinfeld, there's usually some old lady beating the crap out of some guy with a French baguette. Those will hurt you. Not a fan. I mean, I do like the French croissants. The, don't, I'm not hating the French. I'm hating the baguette. I'm all about, some, I'm all about me some croissants. But this baguette, not not a fan. I would say you, Alan Jackson. You like the baguette or the French bread? I uh, no, not really. No, no. Nope. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the best bread, probably a biscuit, a Hungry Jack biscuit. Yeah, I do like croissants. That croissants is, are great. That is great. I'm I'm a big croissant fan. But yeah, the the hard French bread, I, I yeah. don't deal with. Mm -mm. I feel the same way about bagels. Yeah. Unless it's fresh out of the oven and I can easily cut it and put some, I mean, it's a lot, it takes a lot of work to make a bagel worthwhile. Yeah, that's true. So no, no thanks. Uh, it's also National California Strawberry Day. Yeah, in 1983, the California Strawberry Advisory Board, now known as the California Strawberry Commission, <laughs> Proposed. I wonder what happened there. I know. There's some drama there I want to know more about. I do too. Yeah. So I, I wish we had an intern in here to start looking up. Why did the California <laughs> Strawberry Advisory Board change its name to the California Strawberry Commission? Did it change its name or did the people in the board break away right. and create a whole new entity <laughs> for California strawberries? That's right. Yeah. The CSAB was overtaken by the CSC. Maybe, maybe maybe because it has board in it, and they, they were like, oh, it's like a charcuterie board. They're like, no, we're a real board. <laughs> we're talking about California strawberries. And then the commission came out of nowhere. Right, yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, we're a commission, bro. Kind of like Batman, the commissioner. I, we, we need an eight-part Netflix series about <laughs> this. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, I do like strawberries. It's not my favorite favorite fruit but i do like them um what other fruit wears its seeds on the outside none strawberries are the only fruit with seeds on their skin that's the only thing i really don't like about strawberries even though you can't even tell that you're eating the seeds i guess they just go right through they're so yeah. they're so tiny mm -hmm. uh, i do like a frozen strawberry daiquiri and they do freeze well you can freeze strawberries remove the stems Seal it in an airtight, freezer-safe container. They're good to go. Now, how many calories are in one strawberry? What do you think, Alan? Oh, man, I'm, I'm not good at this. Um, five? Very close. Really? Four calories. Your average oh, strawberry. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's also National Fragrance <laughs> Day. Yeah, in the early 1980s. Perfume manufacturers launched National Fragrance Day to celebrate all the ways scents can improve our lives. I think we've overdone it, um, <laughs> especially Elliot, if you're watching this. <sighs> Elliot, please, enough. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll venture, I'll even go so far as to say, I don't think most females like it when you wear too much cologne. My brother, and I love my brother, you know, okay, let me do this. When you hit puberty, right, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, man, I'm, I'm turning into a man now. I got to start doing man things. I better go buy me some deodorant because now I'm a man. I'm going to sweat like a real man. So then you, you start dabbling in colognes yeah. and deodorants. But then over time, you realize, like, I don't think I need this. That's right. You gave up on it. I, uh, I did the whole cologne thing yeah. Probably like what, 16, yeah. 15, 16, 17 years old for a few years. Yeah. And I think when I got to my mid 20s, yeah. It's like, I don't need this anymore. I'm Same. Good. Most yeah. girls, uh, most, because what most guys will do is do too much of it. Right. And then they're like, whoo, and then they get a headache and it's like, get out of here. Yeah. Uh, and then it's like, but if you do too, too little, then like, what am I doing here? Why am I even doing this at all? All right. Honestly, the, the reason for me, too, is I question if somebody's wearing cologne, what is it they're trying to yeah. mask or cover up? Right. That's me. That's I agree. If you're wearing too much cologne, it's because you're probably a nasty guy. Could be. You know, you're like, oh, you, you didn't take a bath in three weeks. <laughs> and this is your bath? Right. Yeah. So that's another thing. Um, but, okay, I think the best cologne, and this was in a movie um, – 
Okay, well, I'll go back. Polo was the first one I did. Yeah. yeah. Then I dabbled in Dracard Noir. Dracard Noir. Yeah. yeah. Then like Calvin Klein, maybe. Mm-hmm. Abercrombie had something. Yeah. And then I just sort of just stopped. I do have some, but I rarely put it on. But the best cologne, right? Because I think scientists, you know, they're all about pheromones, right? It's like, this one's got pheromones in it. And the girls will find you irresistible with the pheromones. But you know what the best pheromone is? Mm -hmm. The scent of freshly baked cookies. Yeah. If that you does could, a lot more good than, than <laughs> yeah. uh, cologne does. If they can smell like something they want to eat and consume, mm-hmm. I'd much rather be that than lavender. How often do you come into contact with somebody with a lot of cologne on? Well, my brother does it. Okay, your brother does. Elliot does it. Elliot does it. And not so much. That's really about it. I See, that's that's me as well. I, I've got maybe two or three people. Yeah. I could say I remember ever wearing cologne now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, maybe it's sort of phasing its way out but uh mm-hmm. there you go it's also national single parent day march 21st in 1984 janice moglin moglin uh, wrote an article with the hope that single parent day may one day gain the recognition many connect with mother's day and father's day so happy single parent day to all the single parents out there you know it's tough work it's also national common courtesy day are you a courteous person? I asked you that in the beginning of the show. Um, it's a reminder that the behavior, the good behavior, that keeps society from melting into a sea of madness. <laughs> I am very courteous, I think. I like to say thank you, no thank you, please. I don't know, I'll say yes, sir, sometimes. Ma'am is a tough one. I don't think most girls want to be called ma'am. It depends on their age. Um... John, do you do you find yourself calling other men yes sir even if their age is like pretty close to you? It depends on the situation. Like I say yes sir to you sometimes in a text. Right. Just because I'm, I'm in my brain I'm saying like this like yes sir, let's yeah. do it. Right, it's more of a kind yeah, of a affirmation. Exactly. Not like a respect, just right. more of like <laughs> Yeah, because there's no respect for <laughs> no, me. No, it's no. just a You know what I'm saying? Not no. like I'm bowing down. It's not right. like that. It's like I'm saying, "Yeah, buddy, let's do this." Mm-hmm. Like, yes, sir, re Bobby. Yep. What about you? But I, fi- I find myself sometimes I will be around people, and maybe it's just because I keep thinking I'm younger than I am. I could be around somebody who's maybe just a few years older than me, and I'll say, yes, sir. Yeah. Um, and then I catch myself. I'm like, I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, you have common courtesy. Okay. Hey, if you like that, you can watch the whole thing right here. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down here. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.